In today's roast news, I'm gonna fucking roll. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee from my Charizard cup. Mm. As I prepare to blow flames on the failed Newcastle MP, Tim Krakenthal. Now, the premise of this roast is very, very simple, guys. If you're going to be a member of Parliament, an MP of Australia, or of Newcastle, representing the public, well, you got to disclose all the properties that you have and all your family has, which he didn't. So, to backtrack a little bit, so you guys know what the hell is going on, well, over here is our Premier, old mate, Chris Minns. So, he sacked this bloke over here, which is Tim Crackenthorpe. He's the MP of Newcastle. Apparently... Mr. Krakenthorpe failed to disclose that his wife and his mother-in-law own dozens of properties in the Hunter. Hmm. Which is a potential conflict of interest and breach of ministerial code. And as the rabbit hole gets deeper, as the reporters kept digging into Tim's case, they found out the parents-in-law's commercial properties were actually leased to governments in official government contracts. And apparently might have been because Tim was MP and there had been some connections now to be honest my personal opinion is i really feel sorry for this bloke over here because he did what he did if i was a mp a bali asian mp i'll be as as corrupt as a motherfucker as there is but he did it for his family and look what the bloody mother-in-law had to say this is a direct quote from the mother-in-law who threw him under the bus as she got interviewed and asked for her opinion about her son-in-law. She said, I don't give a effing care about my son-in-law. My son-in-law is an effing politician. F them. I'm happy he got sacked because he would, he should never have been a politician. He wasted his time. Oh my god. Are you fucking seriously kidding me, bitch? Your son-in-law put his ass on the line so you can get $700,000 a year on your commercial property, which you're leasing to the bloody government due to the connection of the MP son-in-law that you have just for housing agency boats? You serious? Now, poor old mate Tim, which is the son-in-law of that, you know, feisty bitch, even though he is kind of sacked, but now he's still sitting as the Labour's backbench. But, you know, I think, he, you know, he's going to be gone very soon because he's going to be invested by ICAC. And, you know, ICAC, once they investigate you, you're gone, skis. But really, I don't really feel sorry for him because all MPs are crook, and this guy is a classic example of it. The plot thickens as they find out that Mr. Krakenthorpe actually advocated for Hunter Park redevelopment. And that he was pushing Sports Minister Steve Camper to sign her off over the $500 million Hunter Pack revitalization so that his neighboring family of properties could be benefited. Hmm. Look, at the end of the day, even though Mr. Krakenthorpe's reputation is in deep shambles, he's been in the job since 2014. He's likely to have milked the shit out of all his ministerial powers in the last 10 years in terms of buying properties, commercial contracts with the government. He doesn't care and probably most likely he's going to be on some sort of government pension to the day that he dies, which is more than the income of you and me. Huh. Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think.